and a fight in center port against a plan to build a massive retaining wall that opponents say would threaten some national treasures. News 12's Virginia Huey shows us. They're just amazing creatures. On any given day, dozens of wildlife lovers flock to Center Shore Road to photograph the bald eagles of Centerport. When you think of the bald eagle, what do you think about? You think of America, you think about freedom, you think about the fact that they were almost extinct and now coming back. A family of bald eagles has been capturing the imagination of people in the hamlet since a pair made its nest here in 2017. But now many residents fear they'll lose the eagles to development. We feel be what the town is doing is wrong and they should be bolstering the eagles up and not taking away their habitat and their food source. A builder is planning to construct two new houses on a wooded hill off East Main Street overlooking the nest. The developer applied for a variance to build a 21-foot retaining wall as part of the construction. Robert Schwartz of Centerport says development will destroy the bald eagle's habitat. They're very sensitive to the change around them. Um, any interference could mean that they could abandon their nest. Schwartz says another stress to the eagle's habitat are tidal gates at nearby Mill Pond, which he says is choking off food supply to the eagles. The Huntington Town Zoning Board was scheduled to vote this week on construction of the retaining wall, but that vote is now postponed until the State Department of Environmental Conservation weighs in. And we follow their guidance. Huntington officials say they're doing all they can to protect the eagles while respecting the rights of the property owner to build on his land. We will get the direction of the Department of Environmental Conservation and whatever measures they ask us to implement with respect to this application, we will. Many in Centerport, including Maureen Restivo, say they're ready for a long battle to protect their resident bald eagles. There's not enough of them on Long Island, so I hope that, you know, nature wins this time. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island. And News 12 did call Rosewood developers for comment about the proposed construction. We have not heard back.